Hello everybody, this is Bacon X Wizard 100 from the Bacon wi from the uh, Wizard Modding team. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to mod GTA here, and um, uh, uh, and just how to mod GTA, no script mods or anything. Uh, this is all the mods from our website, and uh, just basic. And, and we're gonna show you guys. How do you, you can either use custom ramps or highway to heaven and things like that. So when you download the mods off the website, it's gonna come into a folder like this, mods for Xbox 360 or Xbox, whatever which one I put on there. Just go ahead and double click it, and then you're gonna get a file. My file is extra big because I'm the one who made all of this. You're just gonna get all GTA mods, ISO, uh, modded ISO. Uh, and uh, and then WinRAR, Xbox got Xbox um, AVGX360, Xbox Backup Creator. Now we have some problems with this Xbox Backup Creator, and you're gonna end up seeing in this video the problems that we're having. And so, so yeah. All right. So when you first get your ISO, you just wanna go ahead and click WinRAR. First thing you do. Uh, I'm sorry, not that wrong. Or I'm sorry if you guys hear anything in the background. My family is out there. And then you're, this is okay. So we're just gonna go ahead, and you should pull up something. Um, I'll and then I'll restart for all you guys. I'll just start off with the desktop. So when you should get something like this, you okay. So it's either gonna bring you to your desktop or your folder, like or your uh whatever you like your name. Okay, but if you go from your desktop, it's, it should you have all your folders and everything. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to find ours, our modding file we'll be using today, and then you're going to ISO, and then you should bring up this big giant long thing of just unwanted files that you're really not going to use, it, except for this one, okay, this one, go ahead and click, uh, highlight it, and then click extract to, and then you should extract it to the modded ISO. Okay, and then for now, I'll be using a, uh, I'll be using, uh, let's say, here, I'll just start a new file. And if you, and you say you don't know it's not on there, just go ahead and click Mod for Xbox, okay? Go to Modded ISOs, and then you can see one right here, and we're going to go ahead and make for you guys today, we're going to go ahead and make the Xbox Master 360 mods, which will be on our website, so... And then click OK. Now, uh, would you like to replace the? Ex oh, there is existing wood. I'll just go ahead and click No. And then I'll just click Cancel because I didn't know. And then uh, finally, you can just make a new one. And you can just go to uh, Modded ISO. We're just gonna go ahead and do all Modded ISO for now. Um, and then this is gonna load. It's gonna take a long time, and if you're com depending on how fast or slow your computer is, it's gonna be on how fast or slow your computer is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video for now, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to it. So um, I'll pause the video and I'll come back to you when it's almost done. Hey guys, so I'm back, and um, I kind of took too long. I took a shower and. Um, I guess it ended up saving, so it's done, and when it's done, it's going to look like this. So you're not going to need this for the rest of the video, so you're just going to click close, okay? Now, you're going to go, uh, go ahead and open up back your, uh, mods for Xbox, okay? And then go to, uh, AB ABGX360, alright, go ahead and click that. And then you should come up and then go to auto fix and then go here and then click three. Three, everybody, okay? Make sure you have these two checked off. And then go ahead and click this little button right here, file open. And then you want to go to your desktop and then go to uh, find mods for Xbox. Mods for Xbox. And then go to your um, modded ISO. And then go to the one all, and it should be right here. And then when that's done, just go ahead and click launch. And um, 
It's gonna go ahead and tell him to do like this. It's not it's not a virus, don't worry. But let's get to 100, and this should be the seal patch. And make sure there's no mods on it. If it turns red, then you have to redown the de redo the ISO or any kind of thing like that. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hit and pause the video for now, and then I will come back uh, when this is done. Okay, guys, there's eight seconds left in this download, and um, it's almost done now. And as you see down here, it's gonna end any minute now, or any second. And now it is done. There is nothing corrupted. If it's all green and you're ready, go ahead and press any key to exit. So spacebar. So all right. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and click uh, close this. You're not gonna need this anymore. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead. And, this is a part Xbox Backup Creator. Um, people saying we have been issues, and there is issues with this. So I'm gonna teach you how to do this real fast. It's, it's really simple. It's not anything to be scared of. Just go ahead and click, double click it, and then you can go ahead and click run. Okay, and then it's gonna come up with a bunch of things, and it's gonna say uh, cancel this. All right. Now it should come up with some more, and you gotta cancel all of them. Just go ahead and click cancel. Okay, cancel, cancel. And then you should open up. It should open up any second now. As so, it just did open up. There's something in my disk drive which I do not know about. Okay, so there is a dual layer DVD in my disk drive, so I'm just gonna go ahead and the one that I'm burning with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and exit this. Go ahead and take it out. Sorry about that. Alright, so we're back here. Now you wanna go to um image tools, image browser. Now go ahead and click cancel because this made I don't know what I just never let time to load. So, alright, so now I just want to go ahead and open this up, and it's going to turn something like this. So now, you want to go ahead and click up here, you want to go click File, Open Image File, and then go to your, uh, your modded ISO. Not, we'll go to your modded ISO file, and then go to right here, and then just go ahead and open it, it should come up with something so like this. Now, it depends if your computer is a MacBook or a, uh, What's another name for it? Uh, I'm trying to a Samsung. If it's a Samsung like so I have, then it's gonna come up with an error mess error message every time you replace the common dot RPF, which is right here. I will go ahead and highlight that in blue for you guys. And um so when you replace that, uh yeah. So watch as so you have to do this in the right order, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it in the order. So I'll just go ahead and click right click this, go replace. Then go to your uh, Xbox mods and then go to all GTA mods. Now you want to go to common. Now there's two of them here, okay? Now the one it says common with no freeze cars. That's and without water or common with, I mean common no freeze cars with water. Now I'm gonna use without water. And you see it, the replacement file is larger, whatever. Okay, it's gonna come up if you have a um, Mac. I mean, a uh, Samsung, like I said. All right, so let's go ahead and click. Okay, that's not a big deal. It's just because you put some extra mods in here. Um. All right. So next, we're gonna go ahead. You have to re uh, replace the Xbox right here. Xbox RPF. Now, um, I'm not gonna go. Okay, now I go to your all GTA mods, and as you see, something right here it says Xbox ramps. All right. Now, this custom ramps right here, you're not going to have because it is a custom ramps. And the only way to get it is either you become a gold member or you just go ahead and buy the modded disc. Alright. Um, but this one's normal. I mean, I mean, this one is a really, it's custom, but it's not as good as this one. Okay. Um, uh, the custom ramps is the best. And this one is really good. It's from the uh, COD clan, which is not ours. And um, you can, it's, I'm gonna put it up on the internet to buy something called COD clan um, mods, and it's gonna be that one. But uh, yes, and then you can have the D, which is the DA420, which is normal ones, highways in the sky, you know. No map mods, okay, no map mods. And then the 5.7 Robotor, 5.8 Robotor. And then Road to Heaven, which is kind of self-explanatory. And then Stunt Park is just like a mortar, like a mortaring bike part. And then I'll put this little thing right here. It says Map Mods to see all the videos. I'm going to put this up on the internet, like when you download the files. 
for you to know which one you like and um, which one's the best. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one for now. And it's gonna re it's gonna load. And um, now we're done with the system update part. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move the DLC one. DLC one has no mods in it. And I made an agreement with Deadly Fishes that he said, "Hey, you want hey if you want to use some of my mods, it's fine. Just give me one of the DLCs." So I gave him DLC one because it's the last in damn, and nobody really used that. Nobody really even plays that anymore. So I go, I wanted to go ahead and give him that. And then DLC two is the modded one that we did. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this with DLC two. Okay. Now DLC two. This is where you enter your script mods. If you get the 3.0 script mods, I'm showing you, you just go to data, and then right here, it'll be under here, go here, and it's script network, um, yeah, so, once that is done, yeah, so that's what you it is, so, um, what was I gonna say, dang it, man, I can't, I can't remember that. Alright, so now we're gonna, if you want skins like MW2 camos on your, um, it's on your, th whatever, on your uh, guns, and then you want the APC monster emblem and camo, you wanna go ahead and click this, and it's gonna open up something like this, and just keep on clicking arrows until you see data, and then click the plus and click this one, I mean, I mean, what am I talking about? Click models. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Do you want to change the color uh, performance? I don't know how that gets you. Can. So you're gonna go to here, and then you go to this one, and then you should see two things here. So you want to go re replace the weapons um, with your uh, GTA, and it's gonna be called skins. and folder called skins. And we're looking for vehicles, so we're just going to replace the vehicles. Next, we're doing weapons. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add, so, and we're going to have a feature update on the website, and I'm going to go ahead and make a police modded car that looks like a, um, a Alaskan State Trooper, and, uh, it's going to be the FBI Buffalo. I'm just going to totally trick it out, or I'm going to change it to the North Carolina State Trooper, because, yeah. Okay, so, let's, so now we're all done with this, we just go to click that. Now we're going to go ahead to here. Xbox, and then just go to here and click the plus, plus, plus until you see maps. Click maps. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click, go ahead and go to east, and we're gonna go replace. This is your car spawn. So you're gonna start at this one, Bronx W. Go ahead and click replace, and go here. Uh, it's okay if you don't know what it is. Like I'm probably gonna mess up. Like, um, yeah. See, I click Bronx W. We don't have it on my car spawns because it is not a car spawn. So if you just mess up, you know, there's no big deal. Just click cancel and just replace it. Um, you're all gonna make mistakes. It's not, and uh, it like mistakes. I mean, don't replace like don't put the Bronx S into the Bronx W2 because you will mess it all up. Just make sure you don't like completely screw it up. So um, yeah. So then we're gonna have to replace the next one. Now we're gonna be using Brooks S. All right. So that's gonna go ahead and let it load. All right. I'm trying not trying to keep this video too long now, cause we don't want it super long. Uh, if it is, I'm trying to go ahead and put it into parts. Part one, part two, part three. So what you should do just replace all of them. All right. So then we're gonna, we're done here. Um, if you're gonna get Queen's W if you're a gold member. Okay, you're gonna get this one. Whatever. This one. That's for the, uh, over by the docks. Okay, you're not gonna click this one, you should leave that be, okay? That's just, this is where, how I modified it for the cars to spawn. So now we're gonna click Jersey, and just go to get f the first one. In place to this one. And then we're gonna let this computer load. It is a slow computer, I'm getting a new... MacBook for Christmas, which is coming up, so happy holidays, everybody. So, number two, and the second one. Okay. My docks is uh, boats and stuff. Every boat, all the boats we have are flying, so you really don't. Yeah, that's, reason, that's another reason why you don't need water. 
Because all the boats we made, we made them uh, fly. So, yeah. Okay. Just gonna let this load. Then we're gonna go ahead in Manhattan, which is one of my favorite places in New York City. So, number one, number one, two, and number two. Uh, number two. Now we'll go to number eight. It's the reason why I don't have any of these ones because they've been patched. Um, those are the ones where they spawn on the street. They ground you. These are on the streets. Like these are streets and stuff. And the ones I'm doing now are the cops stations and stuff. Place nine with nine, and then we're gonna replace eleven. Subway's the subway is patched, but even though if you try to replace or you find a file on the internet, you can go ahead and put it in. And if it does spawn, if you're lucky enough to get it to spawn, it is a fly car. Just so you guys know, um, it's really rare to find a subway spawn system. So, yeah. All right. So now we're all done here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click uh, like this all. Now we're so you just go ahead and click system update. I mean, what am I talking about? Go back to your ISO and then it should be here, whatever. And now we're going to go ahead and click file over here. And click close image. And then you're done. Here it's saved. It all automatically saves. Click exit. And exit. Now there's two ways you can burn your um, ISO. Um, you can go to modded ISO and then you can click this one and then you would have it here and then you can just click this one or something and you can click burn with using image burner um you can use that but just just don't do that because if you do you don't have the right settings and it's getting it all messed up so we're gonna open up image burner all right guys so we're gonna image burn to open up so um once you open up image burn it should look something like this uh as so um what you want to do is you want to go to uh tools i think it is tools and then settings and then you want to go to uh oh yeah there i mean right and then you want to make sure all these are checked I yeah all these are checked and then it says then click on this and then you need this number right here um, once that is done uh, you click ok and then you want to go to uh, what was it? right image to disk ok and then you want to go to uh, oh click this one right here and then you want to go ahead and go to your mod for xbox mod iso this one click this one okay there you go. and then it should open up and then this should highlight and just go ahead and click that and um so i don't have a disc in right now and so yeah make sure it's on a hard surface and um this will end our tutorial on how to mod an iso gta uh tbo gt with blazers mods thank you guys um this video is really long, and I thank you guys for um, uh, staying here to watch it. Alright guys.